hello students i hope all of you are doing well in this critical situation and the lockdown 4.0 continues to keep us in sight and also due to the recent disaster of amphan we couldn't organize the online teaching and learning session as many of us didn't have the internet connection water supply power supply etc but finally things got sorted out slowly after a week so now we are slowly uh, coming back to the normal life and let's resume our online teaching and learning session today we are going to discuss uh, the automata theory and in the automata theory we are going to discuss about the outputs in finite automaton okay so let's start so till now we have discussed finite automata uh, with the current set of states and the input alphabets the transition function etc but we haven't discussed what are going to be the outputs if there is any possibility of output or not we have always discussed the transition diagram the transition table but never thought about the outputs so let's start so finite automata are going to have some outputs and they are going to be dependent on certain constraints so basically there are two types of finite automata with outputs one is called milli machine and another is called Moore machine okay so let's first of all start with milli machine so as you can see that milli machine consists of these six tuples and out of these six we already have discussed four of them uh, previously uh, they are the finite set of states the finite non-empty set of input alphabets the transition function the initial or starting state apart from this we already had the final state in the finite automata but here the final state is not at all required because we are talking about the output not talking about the transition diagram or how it is going to end up in the end we just have to look at the transition diagram we do not need to worry about the final state or anything like that we just have to follow whatever the string is given and how it is going to work out okay so that's the final state is not mentioned here and also in the Mura machine whenever we are talking about that we are going to see that Mura machine doesn't have the final state also because we are concerned with the output only okay final state we are not concerned with so apart from these four very very known tuples we are also going to have two new tuples that is the state of output alphabet and the output function okay so obviously output alphabets are going to be uh, pretty much similar to how input alphabets work so they can be 0 or 1 they can be bc they can be anything the output function however is the important feature whenever you are talking about the milli machine or mura machine because uh, you will see that how it differs in the mura machine from milli machine but let's talk about the milli machine output function first you can see that the uh, output function in milli machine consists of or it is actually dependent on these two things one is sigma one is q but now what is sigma sigma is input alphabet okay and what is q q is the current set so whenever we're talking about output function in a milli machine it is going to be dependent on both of this one is the current state and another is the input alphabet so let's see an example so let's take this example we have <coughs> an initial state of a that is going to be and on self loop it is producing uh, sorry on applying one input alphabet it is producing a self loop and whenever we are applying zero on a zero on capital a it is going to state b and whenever in state b also whenever you are applying the capital uh, sorry 
whenever we are applying the one as input alphabet it is producing a self loop and whenever we are giving a uh, whenever we are applying zero as input alphabet it is going back to a capital a so that is pretty much simple but what new is the output alphabets so you can see that the output alphabets are denoted with the small a and b okay. so whenever we are talking about the alpha output alphabets for this particular example it is going to be small a and b okay and how this output function is uh, working in this example whenever we are applying one on this particular state a it is producing the output of small b whenever we are applying zero on this state a it is produ producing the output alphabet small a similarly for capital b state whenever we are applying zero it is producing small b and whenever we are applying one it is producing small a so that is how it is working so what is going to happen if we take a string such as 1010 so if i take a string of 1010 first of all it is going to come to the initial state that is a okay then i am applying this one so it is going to a self loop so that is another a and it is producing the output alphabet of b so it is output alphabet is b now again i am applying zero so if i apply zero it is going to b state okay and apart from going on to b state it is producing the output alphabet of small a okay then again i am applying another one and i am currently in b state okay so if i apply one i am going to get uh, output alphabet of a and i am going to get a self loop okay so again after getting the self loop that means i am currently in state b i am again applying zero so if i apply zero i am going back to capital a state okay so capital a state but i am producing an output alphabet of small b so that is how it is going to uh, work in muramesh sorry milli machine whenever this 1010 string is working on this particular milli machine okay so now let's look at the mura machine so mura machine you can see that it uh, works so it uh, it uh, is same as the milli machine but there is small difference you can see that we have the same six tuples that we had in milli machine right but there is one major difference that is um, in this output function you can see the output function in milli machine was a little bit different but in mura machine it depends on completely on the current state nothing else so it doesn't depend on the input alphabet it is only dependent on the current state it is in okay so you can see that q implies the delta this delta is actually nothing but the output alphabet so that means the output in mura machine is current is strictly dependent on the current state nothing else so let's see an example actually we are going to see the same example so you can see that uh, this is the same example but the only change here is the output alphabet is producing regardless of the input you have given okay so if it is in a state it is always going to produce the output alphabet of small a if it is in b state it is always going to produce uh, output of small b so that means uh, whenever i am talking about this it is going to have b regardless of whatever there is and whenever i am talking about this state it is always going to have small a okay so that is that's the uh, ultimate uh, motto of this mura machine or how it works okay so uh, now what is going to happen if i apply this same string so i am again applying 1010 
so first of all i am go i am coming to this initial state of a so regardless of the input alphabet it is going to produce an output alphabet of small a then i am applying zero so obviously i am going to go to uh, capital uh, sorry uh, i am applying this one right at first i am going to apply one So if I apply one, it is producing a self loop. So I'm currently again in capital A, and it is going to produce a output alphabet of small a. Then again, I'm applying small. Uh, sorry, I'm applying zero. So it is going to go to B. And if I am in B, now it is going to produce a small B state. Then again, I'm applying one. So if i am applying one uh, there is a small mistake in this diagram actually this is uh, this is what, what is it? this is actually wrong this is one and this is actually c okay, okay. so is that thing clear so now we are again applying this uh, one so it is going to produce oh no uh, this is actually a slightly different example that is my mistake okay let's just consider whatever we, we have over here so whenever we are applying one it is going back to a it is coming back to a and regardless of the input it is going to produce a small a and again we are applying another zero so it is going back to capital b and regardless of the input it is going to produce small b as the output so uh, a little bit of mix have happened obviously in the example side but uh, apologies for that but uh, the main highlight of these two examples are you can see that both of the examples have very much similar constraint they have two states they have two input alphabets and they are working pretty much similar to each other but in case of milli machine for the same string we are getting an output of four so the if number of string is n then the output alphabet is also going to be n we had four length of string so the output alphabet is also going to have a length of four but here you can see that we had four length of string but the output alphabet we got is n plus one we have double a b a b so that is n plus 1 so 4 plus 1 that is 5 okay now why did this happen because here in the initial state we are not getting any output only after applying some input alphabet we got some output but here the output doesn't depend on the input alphabet even if it is uh, initial state it is going to produce an output so that is the main difference for milli machine it started after the input alphabet but in mura machine it didn't wait for the input alphabet whenever it got uh, started then it straight uh, it started giving the outputs regardless of the input alphabet because the output function is built in that way it doesn't depend on the uh, input alphabet it depends on the current state so you can see that there are actually five states in both cases so if there are five states so it is going to produce five output in Mura machine and for milli machine it is going to depend how the input alphabet is working okay so that's it for the finite automata with the output now we are going to deeper discussion about the milli machines and Mura machine we are going to see some examples and then we are going to talk about the conversion from milli machine to Mura machine and Mura machine to milli machine. 
okay so now we are going to see some of the examples or how can I uh, create a milli machine from a problem statement given so let's begin with the first example so the first example says the construct a milli machine that produces one's complement of any binary input stream so first of all we need to know I think you all of you have a very good idea about what is an one complement so that means whenever there is a one it is going to be zero and whenever there is a zero they are going to be a one so if the string is like one zero one the one complement will be zero one zero right so in order to create such middle machine it is uh, first of all we have to identify what are going to be the input alphabets and what are going to be the output alphabets because middle machine always depends on the input alphabet on producing alphabets on producing uh, the output alphabets okay so in this case the input alphabets are 0 and 1 and the output alphabets are also 0 and 1 as you can see that if this is your question this should be your answer okay so if this is your input this is your output okay so the uh, answer to this particular question is pretty much simple you just take a state okay and uh, just put whenever it is going to uh, the same the same uh, loop it is going to have if I put 0 I am going to get 1 okay and also if I apply 1 I am to going to get the output of 0 okay, so there is no problem obviously we can take another state but that is not required at all as uh, it is happening in a single state okay and uh, there is no restriction actually because it doesn't say that the milli machine needs to be a deterministic finite automata it can be deterministic or non-deterministic so there is no problem with this one okay so that is the answer of this particular question okay so this is a clearer picture i have drawn i have removed the ink that i have missed. so as i said that this is uh, if this is your question this should be your answer okay and remember for every question you have to first of all determine the input alphabet and the output alphabet okay so let's see the next one Construct a milli machine that prints A whenever the sequence 0, 1 is encountered in any input binary stream. Okay, so that means whenever we are hitting up the sequence of 0, 1, it should print a small a. Okay, so in this case, you can say that the input alphabets are 0 and 1 and the output alphabets let's say if it is printing a on this case that means on other cases there can be another printing so let's say that that printed output alphabet is b so these two are input alphabets and these two are output alphabet so before proceeding to the particular construction of milli machine we, ne uh, we will try to construct uh, uh, um, finite automata or the transition diagram that is going to accept this sequence 0 1 ok so we are going to construct a DFA or FA that is going to accept our sequence 0 1 so whenever it accepts 0 1 we are just going to put this output of A and that is going to be as easy as you can get okay so how can I do this uh, it is pretty much simple uh, just let's say this is the initial state a okay so in order to confirm this sequence of 0 and 1 let's say 
whenever we are apply 0 we are going to B and where we are applying 1 we are going to C okay. now for other cases so whenever you are applying 1 let's say I am giving a self loop whenever we are applying 0 on B I am giving a self loop but what is going to happen if I apply 0 or 1 on C okay so let's say whenever we are applying 0 on C now what is going to happen now you have to think that what is the sequence you need to get accepted that is 0 1 so if I put a self loop on C it can produce a 1 1 at the end because from B to C we are getting 1 and if I produce a self loop on C for 1 so for 1 1 also it is going to get accepted that we don't want now whenever I am turning back from C to B if I pro give a 1 over here so that means it the sequence can get accepted for 1 1 also but this is what we don't want we only want for 0 1 ok so that is not acceptable so the only acceptable input alphabet here can be 0 ok so for other case we can revert it back to A so that is for 1 ok so that is the total transition diagram of the DFA or FA you can say so whenever it is getting accepted we need to print the small a so only in this case it is going to print the small a for all other cases it is going to produce the output of small b okay. so what we did is first of all we try to construct a dfa the transition diagram of it and whenever this particular sequence or the language is getting accepted we are just uh, putting that particular uh, alphabet output alphabet okay on that position so let me just uh, draw the clear picture over here this is the actual milli machine for this particular problem so if you are going to test on this thing you can see that this should not get accepted actually this one should not get accepted so whenever we are producing 0 1 1 0 it is producing uh, let's say from a to 0 it is coming to b and it is producing the output alphabet of b and on b it is uh, from b to c it is going to and it, the output alphabet it is producing is a next up we are again applying 1 so it is going back to A and it is producing the output alphabet of B and again if I apply 0 on A it is going to B and the output alphabet it is going to have is small b ok so you can check for this one also okay. So in the next one we are going to see a uh, little bit uh, more complex problem so the next example says that design a milli machine accepting the language consisting of strings from uh, sigma star where sigma is a comma b the string should end with either a a or b b now this means the sigma star itself is meaning the same thing okay so that means whatever it is getting it should get repeated again so the input alphabets are a and b okay and the output alphabet can be let's say 0 or 1 but it should get should always end with A or B B. So whenever it is A or B B, it is going to produce the output alphabet of one. In all of the other cases, cases it is going to produce the output alphabet of zero. Okay, so that is the given constant that is given here. So how it is going to work? 
it is uh, pretty much simple we just again have to construct another dfa for this particular one okay so we need to get this aa or bb getting accepted so from a to b we are getting going okay so whenever we want to produce an aa so let's say for a and here also it is getting a self loop of a okay so in that case it is going to get accepted so whenever it get accepted it should print one so here it is printing zero unless because here it is not getting accepted only after the self loop it is getting accepted okay so for bb let's say it are going to take another step of c so also this is going to be similar instead of a we are going to have b so if there is one b it is not going to be accepted if there are two b's it is going to be accepted <coughs> now is it complete no <coughs> we still need to figure out what is going to happen if i apply b on capital b and a on capital c okay. so if i apply b on capital b what is going to get let's say that we are going to come back to c so if it comes back to c after applying b can it have the output alphabet of one uh, no why why so because it is possible that it is going to produce uh, a and b and then if it i if i give it as one output so in that case it is going to be accepted for also a b string okay so i cannot give that so i have to put a zero over here now for c and if i apply alphabet small a it is going back to capital b okay now here also i cannot put one for the same reason so if i put capital one over sorry so if i put a one as output alphabet over here so let's say we are starting from capital a and we are giving b and then we are giving a if i put one it is going to get accepted for the particular string b so that is not acceptable it is only going to be accepted when there are two a's or two b's okay that is the particular solution for this particular example okay so that was the construction of milling machine okay so now we are going to see some of the examples of the Muru machines so actually before proceeding to the examples you have to keep in mind that it is going to work uh, same as milli machine just the difference will be the output alphabets are not going to rely on the input alphabet it is only going to rely on the current state okay so we don't need to worry much about this one so more machine construction will be easier than the milli machine and also we just need to figure out how to construct the finite automata of that particular problem statement whenever it is reaching to the acceptant state then only we can um, uh, give the output uh, alphabet that is required okay so let's see an example and this concept will get cleared up more so construct a Moore machine that prints a wherever the sequence 0 1 is encountered in any binary input string so we have already did this for uh, the particular milli machine previously right whenever it is uh, getting 0 1 it is going to print an a so how we did that we just uh, took a as the initial state and whenever it got 0 it went to b and whenever it got 1 it went to C and 
also whenever it got uh, zero it went back to b and whenever it got one it went back to a and for one it got a self loop for zero it got a self loop right that is how we did that remember we did this because uh, the main acceptance was this zero one right so we pushed the uh, c to b and for zero because whenever it is a matter of zero and one it can happen so if i put one over here so it, it would have produced one one and it would, could have got accepted that was not acceptable so i've already discussed this in my previous uh, slide a few minutes ago so now if i if you look at this one uh, we just have to put the uh, a output wherever it is getting accepted so it is getting accepted at c for all of the other cases it is going to uh, it is going to have the output of b okay so here we are going to write a slash b and also here we are going to write b slash b only for c it is going to have this a printed okay so that is as easy as this so i hope that was clear to everyone so let's just see the clearer picture over here okay so you can verify like this so always remember that you have to this is your input alphabet this is your output alphabet and output alphabet only depends on the particular state nothing else okay so let's see the next example construct a mirror machine that counts the occurrence of sequence abb in input string over a comma b so here also the example is going to be similar to the previous one but here uh, it is going to be accepted whenever the sequence abb is occurring okay so it can be babb it can be ab abb okay so in the previous example when we had 0 and 1 what we did we took three steps now we have abb it is as simple as that we are going to take four steps okay so let's start so let's say that this is my initial state if i apply a on this it is going to let's say b state whenever i apply small v it is going to c state whenever i apply another v it is going to d state okay now what is going to uh, happen if i apply the other symbols on this particular one now this is a little bit complex than the previous one or where it gets complex because now we have to look at this particular string that is containing these three letters a b b so it can be b a b b it can be a a b b it can be a b a b b okay so the first two letters doesn't matter but the next three matters so for the first two steps you can give a self loop so let's say this is for b and let's say this is for a okay so it doesn't matter that how you are getting the abb so even if you are coming from a you are going to get abb even if you are going to have aabb also in that case it is going to get accepted okay but now for the next two cases it gets complicated now you have to look at that particular uh, sequence of abb
now if i want to uh, look at this c state now for b it is going to capital u so the only input alphabet left is small a so if i apply small a on this i need to go to some place where i can start and come back to this abb sequence again okay so that is only possible when i am going to this particular b state okay okay uh, actually you can give it back to capital a also but uh, i think uh, there is no requirement because uh, let's say uh, if you are getting uh, a bb ab something like that it is going to the capital a and then again you have to come back to that state so that is going to hack a lot more than if it comes to back goes back to the b okay for d if you give it back another b what is going to happen and if i apply a what is going to happen okay so if i apply b and if i give it let's say that obviously there are going to be two cases okay so if i give a loop back to this particular c state let's say if i do this so then in that case for triple b it is also going to be accepted so this is not acceptable for this particular example okay so uh, can i do this whenever i am going back to b so also if i do this there is a possibility that three b's will get uh, together so that is not also accepted what is only accepted this abb so that means the only thing you can give over here is one a so that we can only the possibility shall be only abb so i hope that is clear so if i want to give apply b it should go back to somewhere where it can produce another a okay so that we can get this abb sequence so i am put pushing it back to this a now always remember i cannot put a self loop over here for a or b okay because if i do that it is going to be accepted for something like bbb or bba okay so that is not acceptable so that is why the self loop is not going to be accepted okay so what is the ultimate solution it is going to be accepted over here for all of the other cases it is not going to be accepted so that is as simple as that so let me just draw the actual solution in a cleaner way okay so you can verify all of the strings with this one. so always remember you have to keep in mind that what is the actual sequence or language of acceptance what are the input alphabets what are the output alphabets you just draw the finite automata or dfa diagram and just put the particular output symbol whenever it is getting accepted for all other cases you can put the other symbol when it is not going to be accepted okay okay so now we are going to discuss about conversion of Bure machine to Miller machine actually both of these uh, output systems are convertible from each to other because we have already seen that both of them are pretty much closer to each other but the only difference being for Bure machine it depends on the current state and the for milli machine the output depends on the transition okay so let's first of all look at one example so construct a mura machine that prints a on the sequence so we have already done this so let me just draw it quickly okay 
so for this case uh, we did what did we do we had a um, and from a we went to b and from b we went to c okay now here we had 0 1 and when we had uh, 0 it came back over here when we had 1 it came back over here okay and for 1 it got a self loop for 0 it got a self loop so that was the main uh, acceptance and all of these were 0 only c was 1 ok so if I want to draw the transition table how it is going to look like uh, so let me just quickly draw it so there are there are three states a b and c there are two input alphabets 0 and 1 right so for 0 so the output alphabets here are okay so this is actually small b small b and this is actually small a so for c it was small a and for other cases it was small b okay for zero uh, a produced the state that was b for one a produced a for zero a, b produced b but for one b produced c for zero c produced b for the one c produced a that is the total transition table now if i want to convert it into a equivalent milli machine then only i just have to move this particular output to the particular transition because in milli machine it depends on the particular transition not the total uh, current state okay so if i want to first of all i have to just remove each of this and put it on the beside the input alphabets so here it was b so it should be 1 slash b and here it is also 0 slash b okay and also here it should be 1 slash b here it should be 0 slash b only in this case it should be 1 slash a for all of the other cases it is going to be b now here you can erase the symbols that were inside ok so that is the equivalent milli machine so whenever it is coming to the final acceptance state it is only getting this way so the what will be the change over here obviously this output will be erased from here and they will be written beside the input alphabets as it depends on the total transition so here we are going to get a 0 and we are going to get b so this is small b this is small b this is small b this is only a and this is small b and this is also small so that is the final answer i hope it was clear to everyone let me just redraw it clearly for okay so now we will see one more example now the given more machine so we have already uh, discussed this one also right so let me just 
quickly draw it so if I want to draw this let me just quickly draw it without discussing it further okay so we are going to get only this ABB string so in order to get that we took four steps a b c d okay and only in this case it is going to get one all of the other cases it is going to get zero okay. and this is a b b and here i did with a okay now if you remember clearly i have already discussed why i did this okay so you can go back to the previous slide or you can rewind the video to few minutes before and you will see that why i have done this so what is the uh, transition table for this thing so the states a b c d the input alphabets 0 1 the outputs that is 0 0 0 and 1 so a on 0 it is producing uh, sorry here actually it is a and b right so a on small a it is producing capital b a on small b it is producing capital A B on small a it is producing B and B on small b it is producing C C on small b it is producing D B on small a it is producing B D on a it is going back to B and D on B it is going back to A okay so this is the actual uh, thing or more machine for this particular example so now again we just need to shift this output symbols to the particular transition that is going to be it okay so here everywhere it is going to be uh, zero apart from this one it is going to be 1 everywhere else it is going to be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 I think that's it and now just remove the symbols from inside the output symbols from inside and if you want to uh, modify the transition table how it is going to look like this will be 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 only here you are going to get 1 all of the other cases you are going to get 0 so that is the total exam ok so that is the final answer So now in this case uh, the reverse procedure is going to happen that means we are converting a milli machine into Mura machine. Now this is going to be a little bit complex because uh, in the earlier case it was minimization but now it is going to be the maximization that means uh, only in the uh, in the previous case we only we had only the uh, uh, current state and it had that particular output alphabet now uh, we can now attach that output alphabet to both of the transition happening that means the input alphabet and the current state so there was no problem but the reverse procedure is not going to work in the same way because whenever there is one particular transition happening and uh, that thing is producing one 
uh, one output alphabet and then also you have to look at the current state and input alphabet for the current system but in the converted system you are only going to look at the uh, current state so it is not going to depend on the input alphabet so how it is going to be changed that we need to see so that is the complex part of this conversion from milli machine to mura machine so let's first of all look at the first example so the first example has this particular transition okay so now you cannot just directly associate uh, the uh, output alphabet straight onto the states because uh, here you can see that uh, there is no problem you can directly associate an a with this particular a capital a here you can attach an a but here can you attach an a directly no because there is a self loop of b here can you attach a, a directly no because there is a self loop of b okay that is why you need to understand that it is not exactly same as the previous case okay so let me just first of all let's try to fix how much we can do so if i am giving it zero it is going to b so let's say it is taking this a okay and if i give one it is going to c and let's just say it is also taking a okay and here also this transition is happening in the same way for one and for zero but the problem arises when these two are happening so in these cases we have to create another state okay so let's say this state is called let's say b dashed okay and let's say this state is called c dashed so in these cases it is going to produce the output of b okay but it doesn't end over here now you also need to give the self loop so that this thing gets satisfied the self loop thing because this is the primary motor right but even if i am giving a self loop on this thing what is going to happen when another alphabet is going to be pressed that means uh, for zero it is producing the same state but what is going to happen whenever it is uh, when we are applying one on this thing so you can see that whenever we are applying one on this b it is going to c okay what is c actually this c comma a okay so you can say that upon applying one it is going to c comma a so there is no problem also for this case i am applying one and it is producing a self loop but what is going to happen when i apply a zero so it should go back to b with an output of a what is that particular state this thing so you can say that uh, just let me just redraw it So this thing is going over here okay so this is going to happen for zero for one this is happening for zero this is happening i hope it is clear to everyone right so now you are going to have the particular equivalent mura machine okay so whenever there is a self loop of diff with different output so in that case you need to create a temporary state or another extra state that is going to help with uh, with that particular uh, different output okay if there is no different output there is no problem but if there is a different output there is going to be a problem okay
okay so from muru machine to milu machine conversion the number of states are same but here the number of states has increased as you can see there are two new states because of these two self loop with different symbols now for the next one uh, next example is given below is a milu machine that prints one whatever sequence a or b uh, we have already done this right the answer was like this okay now we need to convert it into a Mura machine so what do we need to do what is the problem the problem is this self loop and this self loop so again we need to create a another two different states so for this one and this one so for this one let's say we are going to have c dashed where it is going to produce uh, one okay and applying b it is going to have and we are going to apply b on this thing whenever we apply a it shall go back to this particular state of b and also for this one let's say we are going to establish a b dash comma one and whenever it gives a self loop and whenever there is a b applied on b dash it should go back to this particular c okay upon applying the alphabet of b okay so it should be zero it should be also zero this should be also zero only ones are this one and this one okay. so let's just see the clearer picture you can see that i have just done the same thing as i have discussed okay everything is remaining the same just these two states with one are going to be introduced okay so i hope this lecture was fruitful and understandable to every one of you please try to go through the total study total lecture part by part take each of the slides as one task first of all try to understand what are the outputs milli machine and mura machine what is the difference between them then try to construct them using the drawing of the finite automata and their state uh, transition diagram and then you apply the output on whenever it is getting accepted okay and then you try to convert a mura machine to milli machine it is easier to convert a mura machine to milli machine but whenever you are converting the milli machine to mura machine uh, the problem arises because uh, the mura machine can have cannot have multiple outputs but the milli machine can have multiple outputs for multiple inputs okay so that is the problem so please study carefully this lecture stay at home stay safe thank you for watching catch you in the next one bye